We are the greatest nation on the face of the earth. And no matter what, come hell, come high water, come COVID, come Joe Biden, we will fight like hell to keep it that way. So goodbye, 2020. Those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care. Saying goodbye to our beautiful presidential suite here at the West in Fort Lauderdale. Doesn't get much better. But now, heading back to Tennessee. What's up guys? I just wanted to officially wish you a very happy new year. You know, we got a big week ahead. We got the fight for freedom ahead of us. It's not over yet. We're going to keep fighting and patriots keep hoping your hearts. God bless you. Well, thanks to my friend Ian at Atlas Gym. If you recall, Atlas Gym is the gym in New Jersey. They've taken on uh, over a million dollars in fines for continuing to be open and not caving to the mob and to the Democrats. God bless them. Happy Monday. We are in for the fight of our lives this week. Tomorrow in Georgia, Wednesday, fighting for election integrity. Patriots, stand strong. Now is not the time to be quiet. A lot of you are asking me, Tommy, is it over? Is it over? What can we do? Well, I have some final thoughts. It's going to be a big week. We got a big fight ahead. But guess what? There's hope. And while I'm giving my final thoughts, let me just say the roads here in Nashville, yeah, they're crap. All right. So maybe with all that money that our clown mayor is taking out of our pocketbooks, maybe he could prioritize some of that money into that. Just if the left takes control of the White House, the House and the Senate and combines it with their obvious and unobstructed stronghold on Hollywood, sports, academia, big tech and the media, this country will become unrecognizable. We are and for the fight of our lives this week, do not take it lightly and do not cower quietly. This is bigger than two average yet always important seats in the Senate. Those two seats represent our last stand in the fight to stave off the radical leftist agenda, the battle against socialism and the war against tyranny. Don't let the suddenly soft. I am feeling very Real Housewives today um, in this outfit. And that's probably fitting because I believe tonight is the premiere of Dallas. Pretty excited. So, okay, these all clearly fit in here when I bought them, but now, even though there's the same amount, they don't fit anymore. So instead of trying to redo this, I'm just gonna tape the top on because I have zero patience. What we all really should be trying to do right now more than ever is shopping small. And there is a little boutique in Chattanooga, Tennessee that is such a cute little place. And they sent me some leggings. They look like almost like tire tread marks. They're very 
cute. Check them out. Support small businesses, especially your Tennessee small businesses. We love you. Never Trumpers turned fair weather conservatives who use Donald Trump to raise money, get elected and stay somewhat relevant, but now turn their backs on him and his supporters. Just know we won't forget you primaried, defeated and replaced. All right. So I know a lot of you are asking me what the heck is going on. You're confused. You're not sure if it's over yet or what's happening. I'm going to do a live in probably about 45 minutes and try to answer some of those questions. If you are a Trump supporter and you are in DC today, remember that you are representation and a reflection of the silent majority and the millions of other patriots who couldn't afford to be there today or couldn't afford to take a day off of work. So act accordingly. You are better than this. You are a conservative, you are a Trump supporter, and you don't act like this. I am kind of beyond words. I don't know if it is <clears throat> Antifa or if it really is Trump supporters, but if it really is Trump supporters, you guys are really breaking my heart. This is not how we act. This is not a representation of the millions of Americans who work hard every day and just put their nose to the grindstone and do the right thing and support their families and support Donald Trump. This is not a representation of those people. And it makes me sick. If it really is Trump supporters doing this, it makes me sick to my stomach. It really does. So you guys know the tech platforms, they're really coming after us conservatives tonight. Um, my Instagram messages won't load. A lot of you can't load my Twitter or my Facebook. Pay attention, it's only gonna get worse. 